What up? It is the O Show. Glad you're here. My analytics say that we should play some Skyrim. So here we are. I haven't played in a while. Show you my new guy here. He's an orc, of course. Vanilla. Special edition survival mode. 
That's my boy Fane Doll back there. Just vibing. Glad you're here. Just an orc picking some flowers. very beginning of the Skyrim character, obviously. The so-called... Oh, yes. He agreed. Well, I call it blasphemy. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way f <laughs> Let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally. Hello, my friend. In mortal life, Tal Talos, master in southern lands, he was known by... So great was his reign in life, when, if you want to know more, I'm sure you can... Talos the Mighty! Talos! Canary! Talos the Unassailable! To you, we give praise! We are but mags, riding in the field of our own! I know your family honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two. Good man. I'm so hungry. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. I just want to go home and Wait, read. I... You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much... He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not... I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful. By the way, I'm obviously skipping dialogue I've heard 34 times. No, I'm not. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. I can teach you a few things. Find that sword. Please bring it to me. Dialaborn, give me your money. I, I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now, or I'm gonna bloody your nose. Ten septums tomorrow, baby, Battleborn, or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. No, please! I really don't have any money, bro. What are you looking at? I'll I'm give not you ten septums tomorrow. No. Just don't Even hit if me. You are my elder. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Well, I used to sneak out at night and try to take and me and Mila used to climb up on the but I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me and then I get in trouble. Mm-hmm. JC, I see you chilling on the infinite couch. Let me know if everything's looking and sounding good. Seems like it's behaving now. Tried to stream this afternoon, 
and there were too many people logged on streaming pornography in my neighborhood, so I didn't have enough uh, bitrate to do it. But I think they've all gotten it out of their system. It's getting on in the evening. We'll head up to the Jarl. I might just be a servant. If my cleaning gets in your way, just say the word and I'll be off. Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the Jarl. And don't you forget. What's the meaning Who's of this interruption? Jarl Balgoth is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Fine, JC, don't tell me how it's looking and sounding. Anyone, feel free to. And give me a swag check on the illustrious... I don't know how to look at my name easily. I can't remember it. A cool orc wanderer. Really? You're certainly... But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is... What exactly happened at Helgen? Hmm. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this... What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the that dragon Ulfric is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough! Not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irelen, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of you. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Whoops. Oh. 
Oh, my bad. That's the one I actually have to give him. Let's get going, then. Scamper to catch up a little. Diddly diddly. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into... Yes. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious... I, uh, learned of a certain stone. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe... Wait. Faringar. Faringar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. I mostly deal with petty thievery Let's and drunken go. brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. One moment. Scanning. 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 Good. Don't fail me. Little problem. Scanning. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need you. I want you to go with Irileth and help. You survived Helgen. So you... But I haven't forgotten the service you did. As a token of my esteem. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irelet. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're doing. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of court. Help Irelet kill this dragon before it can attack Whiterun. There's no time to lose. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. The task of steward is more important than you realize. The Jarl often asks for my invaluable counsel. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for... Thank you. Please, take these few coins. For services rendered. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Help Irileth kill this dragon before it can attack White Run. There's no time to lose.
Oh no. We're going to have to stay up late to fight a dragon. Attacking at night, of course. Sorry, I'm not from around here. Second. I saw the first one. Killing it is ours. If you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Damn yeah. right. Let's move out. I liked it. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Earleth is walking like she went boom boom in her leather armor. Don't mind the orc, he's just catching some bugs. And... Little evening snack here. What makes you think a dragon was there? Just a highly inept barbecue. I think it might be better off with this. You're already dead.
Definitely got his tummy a little. He didn't like that. Oh, you didn't know? Voice of the Dragonborn. Well, now you know. I can't believe it. You are Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim. The Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? What do you do? <laughs> Spoiler alert, guys. Dragonborn here. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. That was the there hairiest any fight I've ever been in. Idiot. They are just coming. Now for the first time in I don't forever. know about this dragon but the old business. tales tell of dragon sure I've got your back you better get power. back to white run you right away. what do you want me to carry you say you know what happened here being awfully quiet <laughs> keep like Equipping shit instead of handing it to Fandal because I'm done. Now nah, you're starting to look pretty cool, buddy. I like it. I gotta equip the bow, it looks cooler. There we go. Uh, don't mind if I paw through your departed companion's pockets there. Is as well. Don't mind me. I'm just an orc refugee. I could sleep here, and I may, in fact.
not quite ready to make that massive trek over there back to White Run. That's not White Run. Is it? It's gotta be. No, that's White Run. Okay. I thought it looked a little small. Ladies. In survival mode, you can only level up when you take a little nap. Oh, they're so kind. They guarded me all night. Honored by the uh, presence of the Dovican. An orc comes to town and all hell breaks loose, ladies and gentlemen. I own the Pelagia farm just outside the city walls. Nimriel takes good care of things for me. Causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. Hmm? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. She is likely not using her true name. We are not welcome here in White Rock. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. It's none of your concern. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. She we cannot hide from us forever. This is not over. I'll buy a curved sword, bro. You're someone who can get things. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. No. Even if you are my elf.
It's a shame, isn't it? Indeed. The temple here... The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped make white... After all, it is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the... Somewhat, yes. When the wounded soldiers began, as more of the sick and injured came to... I wish only an end to the fighting, so that I can tend to the temple. The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Ed... Our tree here in the city... Even its name is an echo. I've thought about that. Trees... I think if we had some of the... But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Elder Gleam is older than metal. From a time... You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after... Your spirit is strong. It's held in a Hag Raven nest called Orphan Rock. So, have you got a Nettlebane back? You hit my orc with a cute little accent, and he's going to do whatever you ask. such a thing. Surely that's not possible. JC says, I hate when the mountains start yelling at me. JC, you shouldn't take so many mushrooms at once. Then you too will believe you're the Dovican. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? There's no question about that. It was, but there must be more to it than that. It's something strange. Ab so it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the way of the voice. They live. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted. If you really are Dragonborn, didn't you hear the thundering sound you as you returned to, to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. 
I'll also notify my guards of your new title. We are honored to have you as they... Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Well, in the old... Wolfheart was dragonborn. In the very oldest tales. Back from when there still were dragons. They're the masters of the way. If you're really dragonborn, they'll want to talk to you. Masters in the way of the voice shouting. The to the greatest metalcore vocalists in Skyrim. General Tullius, Ulfric Stormcloak, would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. The day might, but that day has not come. No doubt he thought it was the only way to make his point. With good, even now, my court, we must also have ample reserve. But our greatest weapon? Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters. That is the best we can do. What now, if you don't service? mind, I've Remember got a Remember that I like my meat rare. Well, uh, no offense, Lydia. But Feindol's kind of been my ride or die. And uh, he can train me in archery. And then I can just rob him. And then he trains me again. He's good like that. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? I'll follow. Pick it up, servants. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostility. I don't know much. Only the... They say the Emperors used to be Dragonborn. That all ended when Martin died. Too. The Greybeards can tell you much more than I can. They're the masters of the... Well, I only know what I... If you can shout, you need to go see the Greybeards. They'll know what to do. If I said that was a tedious... As long as I'm left... Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Sadly, no. My work of... Perhaps some hero will bring one to... What a fascinating conversation that would be. I'll put it simply, so if the hold is faced with any... Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. There's a tranquility in magic, don't you think? It is simp... A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking... Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some... Well, let's see. Travel-stained clothes, worn soles, blank and unintelligent expression. Yes, in fact, you do. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast. Student of the craft. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a of course. I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold.
I have just the robes. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the I'm the commander warrior. of the guard here in Whiterun. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve the Jarl. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Um to see you again. Nah, that's okay. You can be honored here. So I'm at that classic uh point where you can kinda go your own way. Um but I think I'll continue with the main quest here for a bit. Turn on everything for a second. That one is conveniently along the way, huh? You cannot fast travel in survival mode. Best believe we're going to be robbing some folks blind around here, but not quite yet. Vanilla Special Edition Survival Mode Adept Difficulty Orc Looking very handsome Doing Archery Destruction One Hand Sneaky Boy The Classic way to play which I've actually never played a character like that thought about Khajiit when it uh, settled on orc so I can have fun doing berserker rage and then getting all the stealth <laughs> bonuses do like times 39 damage or whatever Come to 
horse? Talk to my father, Skullbar. Skullbar, how much are your damned horses? Got the fleetest steeds in all of Skyrim. None of them sold her. Now the horse I got for sale is we've taken to calling her Queen Alxiger. Or just Al, suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Suit yourself. Ride strong. How much is the ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Well, I know the companions make their home here. Oh, and there's a nasty few. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep. How much is it? Where do you want to go? Oh, it's cheap as fuck. I'm good for now, but that's fine. Good day. No fast travel actually makes carriages useful to some degree. There's never just one wolf, is there? Ain't no way. Suppose there's a way. to something past its usefulness is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? You should leave. I don't want you scaring off my good death. No, oh, I'll give you a good death. Oblivious.
I like it. Uh, one hour of O Show, everybody. Appreciate y'all hanging out. The handful of y'all chilling on the infinite couch. Uh, I did quit my job to start OnlyFans. We'll be revealing the link uh, later in the broadcast. Um, for now, if you're enjoying, make sure you're following. Uh, if you're papered, make sure you subscribe. Got hundreds of videos on YouTube. We, of course, do have a Discord. Always post on Twitter when I'm going live. Uh, glad you're all here. The analytics say we do Skyrim to grow the channel, so... Enjoying a little bit of Skyrim this evening. The analytics also say cyberpunk is a good choice to grow a little bit. So that could be on the radar. The damned roads in Skyrim are infested with wolves. No wonder you don't see anybody out and about traveling. I think there's someone up here doing witchcraft, isn't there? As I recall. Sucks because I'm uh, probably about to wear his robes and they look terrible. But they do 75% faster magic <laughs> regen. Oh, God. They're horrible. I...
Oh man, they look bad. Need to invest my money in making some enchanted armor. But my poor orc is broke right now. A good reason to do a little adventuring and to ruthlessly rob a few stores coming up. Quick little snack this afternoon as we travel to uh, these towers. Cleanse them of some banditry. This should be fun. Okay. Sorry, Fane Doll, you got a little roasted there. You died? I don't want him to be dead. I don't want him to be dead. I'm going to cheat. And I'm not even going to kill this guy because 
It'll force me to look dumb because I I don't have a good reason not to use the. Uh, Necromancer ribs. So. Oh, that skeever brought me five gold pieces. Appreciate that. Alright, this time without accidentally killing Feindal, as cute as that was. I like having a companion that can train archery. Very hidden, as you can see. My FOV, right? I feel like it's not. It's not. Now it is. Ugh. So much better. <laughs> Apologies for the hour of not 90 FOV. You didn't even notice. I shot him in the neck from this far away. Okay. How good was that? Gotta nail the shot. <laughs> 
Damn, I was hoping he was going to fall off the tower entirely. That would have been sick. Man, a bee stung me. I fell down the stairs. That's no good. Oh, he's hiding in his tower, Fane doll. Motherfucker. I'm out of arrows. Let's not go. Set this motherfucker on fire now. Good, you didn't kill my buddy. You okay, Feindall? Very good. That's what it was all about. Good work. Let's enjoy the vista for a moment. Probably gonna camp here tonight. I think you need. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Heavy gauntlets, for sure. What do you want me to carry? Get rid of this. I need to find Feindall Lead on. a good helmet. Everybody's too cool to have helmets. Like the axe used to uh, cut the loaf of bread there. That's very swag. Found a girl's green dress for you, Fane doll. I like to think my orc met him, helped him out with his little situation in Riverwood, and just kind of bullied him into coming along. But, uh, you know, metagame, he can train archery, so he's my boy, of course. Until he can't train me anymore, then he may no longer be my boy in favor of a cooler companion.
Uh, that was optimal for additional skill. Inten intentional. Ooh, a helmet. Hey, Fandle, I was just talking about this thing. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Now we're talking. Let's get going then. Let's get going then. The weight of that pickaxe is not really worth the ability to mine ore. I gotta get a house ASAP. Might start making Fandall carry my book collection though. Nice little base operations they had here. Hunting bow of souls. Soul trap? Ooh, buddy. That's a great enchantment to learn. Yes. Extreme yes. Son. Still here. Okay. What do you want me to carry? First off, we'll go ahead and give you the library. Uh 
that fixes me up for now. Very cool. Now. Uh, might as well use it up. Another good potential enchant there. When Elder Scrolls 6 drops in 2056, JC says, spoilers, um, he's hoping for a Fallout 4 settlement system. Or clear out dungeons and live in them. Yeah, I mean, you almost... Uh, it almost seems like they're going to have to do that, doesn't it? That almost seems like a sure thing. So, you know, gameplay-wise, the survival mode is going to have me f actually sleep here and then actually probably go back to Whiterun and drop off the sword so I don't have to carry it around. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not, but I'm going to sleep here. Search that, yeah. Ooh, book. Is that a duplicate? Still here. What do you want me to carry? Nope. Let's get going then. Eight PM. Nah, eh, we can loot a little bit more. There's a couple bodies over there I didn't hit. Let me levitate around a little bit. Enjoy the beauty out here in a couple moments. Feindel's looking pretty tough now. We're uh, hovering in the air. I facetiously said levitating and then here we are. And I'm trapped down here forever. And I have to dive off the waterfall to escape. JK. JK. Soul Trap on a bow by itself is awesome, but I'm obviously going to steal that enchantment for my own purposes. And that's going to feel so nice to stealth attack something with a bow and then store its soul into a soul gem as it passes. It's really nice. Now we can go ahead and go to sleep and get a little early start here.
Razgor Grodrom is my guy. Or Grodro, if you want to think about it. I don't know what a character being drained means. They're cold? Orc, I don't know how to fix your emotional problems. Like being drained. Now, if I am smart, and I hold a torch, I think that makes me less cold. Believe it or not. Torch does nothing against critters, however. Though that kind of torch does. Solitude to join the Legion. A united empire is better for everyone. Nah, uh, farmer, he doesn't have anything on him, I'm sure. Otherwise, this would be a stick up, buddy.
My thief just hasn't found much worth stealing. It's like an orc thief mage so far. Something like that. The uh, Fandal? He like bail on me or something? Need something? Hail hey, friend! It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. You've never had a taste of sweet... Its sweetness is like a... But enough talk. Come. Ah. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Uh, find all. Did he bail on me? There he comes. Look at him just a running. There's an angry kitty up there. Well, that'll fetch a few bucks.
That saber cat was snacking on a little fox. I'm totally not going the right way at all. This is this the right way? Jeez, how many Nords does it take to make an accurate road sign? Now that's a spooky looking cave over there, holy shit. Maybe I was going the right way. It has been many moons since I have passed this way. You don't look very friendly. Are you pulling a knife out on, buddy? I know it's not me. to be shoot him directly in the throat I know I did I've got your back what do you want me to carry
There. Unburdened deeply. Let's get going then. Excellent. I'm curious about this young man that was casting spells at us. Aren't you, Fandel? What do you think that was all about? You didn't kill Feindall, did you? No, he's okay. Mages are over here burning people? Warning me to back off. You mages are up to some no good here. You killed these storm cloaks and you took over their fort. Now I don't care too much one way or the other about all that, but you also tried to kill me. That's not going to work. Warn what? better me orcs a bit peckish.
me orcs a bit peckish. Well, Fandal, I mean, we killed the bastards who had taken over the place, so of course we're entitled to, you know, whatever's around. I think that's more than fair. Oh, hello there. Staff of Sparks, one of your buddies dropped for me is awesome, isn't it? Dead. That's almost out of juice, squeeze up. Alright, we'll head into the fort first. <laughs> hey. I get this. Got me. Ha <laughs> ha. 
that was a death, so I owe you ten here real quick. Ugh. My chair is trapped. There we go. Oh, I'm still trapped. There we go. Alright. Oh, you 10. Here we go. Man of my word here. It is the O Show. Uh, two hours in. Really appreciate everybody hanging out. Uh, if you are enjoying, make sure you're following. We have a Discord, of course. Be sure you join. Always tweet out when I'm going live. And I got hundreds of videos on YouTube. Uh, I did quit my job. Start OnlyFans. So stay tuned for the link. Uh, it'll be later in the show. And uh, if you're rich, feel free to subscribe. Um, the analytics say need to play Skyrim to grow the channel. So here we are. But uh, some of you are OG. Infinite Couchlings. Very thankful. Oh, there's more. Eh, I think it's a little too spicy for us right now. Hang on, hang on, I leave. And... We follow. Out. Now the zombie went in there, hit him, and came out. We'll clear this later. That's some fun outside. I want to keep it moving and try to go to where I'm supposed to go. Talk to the Greybeards. Uh, the road said I was going the right way, so I'm just going to keep on trucking. Astronaut was good. Using, eh, for me, at least top three Twitch emotes on the channel. Come on, Fane doll buddy. Gotta equip this for swag. There we go. Highly suspicious. Maik wishes you well. Maik knows many things, no? Some like taking friends on adventures. Maik thinks being alone is better. Less arguing about splitting treasure. Don't try blocking if you have two weapons. You will only get confused. Much better to hit twice anyway. Maik is tired now. 
Go bother somebody else. Oh my god, the infamous Maik the liar. This bunny's my companion, too. Not bad for vanilla special edition. Don't you hate when your vape is clogged?
I slayed the wolves with my witchcraft, Fandor. No snap my legs, please. Please help. I can pay you. Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. All right. It's just across the bridge and up that hill. Definitely a trap. But hey. Now I can see the camp. Wait here, I'll be right back with your reward. Yeah, I bet you'll be. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Hey, be careful. Nope, I'm protecting you, Fane Doll, from his arrows. Oof. Please, nothing. Well, getting into all sorts of fun around here, Fane, though. Knew that was a trap. Could feel it. That's all right. We need the money. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Will you use this? Yeah, I thought you would. Lead on.
Oh, those are other travelers that they were killing. Brutal. <laughs> I thought she was going to slide right off. That would have been perfect. Rest in peace, bandit scum.
Damn. But he took a hit out on me. I'm just the outlander. Oh, perfect timing, Fandal. What's going on down here? We're fighting over some treasure? Oh. No, you won't. Everyone in Skyrim so violent. I'm going back to the orc homeland. Everyone's chill. Smokes tons of weed. Ooh, shroomies. Killing each other over this. Amazing. Oh my goodness. That's ten more I owe you. Just let me kill this uh, fucking spider real quick. little bastard. Is there no spider this time that I roll a skeever instead? 
I'm not gonna hate on that. behind you need something we're looking for information about a we believe she may be hiding in white run but we're checking everywhere to be sure yes so next time. okay you know i'm not gonna ask what's going on with y'all enjoy whatever you're doing Kitty boy, what are you doing? He's getting jealous of the Skyrim. And here we are. Just took a little scenic route. driving me crazy so forgive me if I'm a bit on edge they call it the path to the monastery I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion this is even more of a backwater than uh, white run About to make a oh, delivery up there myself. Mostly food supplies. The Greybeards tend not to get out much. Well, it's kind of an understanding between them. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing. Really? Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag in. Well, there's the occasional. Other than that, watch your footing. I'm skipping the shit I've heard a million times. When I encounter shit I haven't heard a million times, I won't skip it. I've been to the monastery many times. Being masters of Athul, well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Oh, you're a traveler. You must have s the Greybeards are astray. I heard they lived their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine?
Your cheese is on the ground, my lady. And why is this open? Hello. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to... It's frightening living below the... Sometimes I swear I can hear... What do you make of that? Sure, leave. Everyone else does. See so you're hard at work here. Alright, let me give you your tin that you're owed. Let me give you a nice view while I do it. Okay, owed you tin. I died earlier to that fucking spider. My little guy brought a toy, so of course I'd uh, battle him with that for a moment. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? See that you don't. What do you want? I promise to keep you safe. Clinic brings food. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. My daughter's driving me crazy. So mm. forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Pardon me, my what a boring Get out of town as fast as you can. If you fancy a bit of Nothing music, let me know. I've always fenced anything to break the boredom of living in this town. I envy you. I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Oh, got a hit on her. Why, thank you. You're well, very kind. I told Still you interested? At twice our thank length. you, my lord. My arm's length, not yours. I'm so sorry, Miss Temple. Perhaps if you would have been more specific. Everyone isn't as short as you are. What good are these boards to someone of the proper height? Sorry, Miss Timber. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? My business is falling apart. My apprentice... If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up... Are you kidding? Tell you what. Bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Have you ever seen what a bear does to the tree? It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right side. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. 
This bitch is crazy. She just hates bears. I like it. I'll tell you, Wilhelm. If I could sweep her away from here tomorrow, I'd do it. But Klimek still has Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? Klimek is doing just fine. My father taught me an important lesson. He said, perhaps one day. So I took his advice, and here I am. I always thought it was odd. Not sure what's up there, but I bet the Greybeards know. Imagine being a peasant in a village. You look like a pagan. Why bother visiting Iverstead? If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. There ain't much more to tell. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. Fortunately, they certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want... If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. The Greybeards are... We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to... About a year or two ago, I warned him not to go in. We never saw him again. Sir, I've got no in... I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. Magic racist out here. I eh, should get a room. Watch your step. We don't get many visitors through here. Unless... Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me Let play me my lute? If there's anything else you need. Could we not be having a fucking uh, committee meeting in my room? No one's looking. Came with my room. Just like the tip, definitely. Hey, there's two beds. I like it. And no door. That's my favorite type of room. Hell yes. I keep putting my uh, points in magic. I guess I should get my health boosted a bit here. Damn, I feel like I remember something about dual casting not being really worth it, but perhaps I'm wrong. Uh, alchemy's worse. I think you should continue with your performances. <sighs> What's the point? I'm not very good. It's only for the same few people every night. I think you play beautifully. It would be a shame if you stopped. All right. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? I can't head up knowing there's a cool barrow over here to check out. Go ahead and lighten the load before I go in there. What do you want me to carry? Let's see. Take that. Oh, you're full too. Damn.
Check that. Uh, uh. All bow, no arrows. Look at those ruins. Think there's gold inside? Don't go into the barrow, we built our village atop inexplicably. Some arrows are better than none. Now that's just rude. Whoops. I mean, optimal uh, experience gain. I'm optimizing. Wee. 
Good work, Feindal. Now we know exactly what the trap did. Oh, I'll get it, don't worry. Sadly, we'll take the iron arrows. Fiendal, don't step on that. Get him. The man exploded. Ah, it was a dirty spell all along, Wendelius. Cute little uh, setup you have here. I'll give those to Fane Doll. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Get going then. Don't mind if I do. Wouldn't it be cool if there was just like a claw like laying right here?
By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Clan. The Imperials think we need their laws. <laughs> you don't look like a pilgrim. We don't get I many visitors through like here. Instead. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabricate. Well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of them. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a... People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Still here. If you're headed up to the monastery, what do you want me to carry? Your I think step. I saw it again. It's a that long way ghost. Down. It was over by the barrel. Oh, you won't be seeing that ghost anymore. Don't worry about that. Oh wait, I do have a dragon claw, yay! Well, we'll have to save that for next time. I totally forgot you actually can get into that one already. Uh, time-honored Osho tradition we're gonna read. We'll read chapter one of the mystery of Talara here at the end. And then I'll find another channel for you all to check out. The Mystery of Princess Talara, part one by Mara Lykith. The year was 3E405. The occasion was the millennial celebration of the founding of the Breton Kingdom of Camelorn. Every grand boulevard and narrow alley was strung with gold and purple banners, some plain, some marked with the heraldic, heraldic symbols of the royal family of the various principalities and dukedoms, which were vassals of the king. Musicians played in the plazas great and small, and on every street corner was a new exotic entertainer. Red guard snake charmers, kajidi acrobats, magicians of genuine power, and those whose flamboyant skill was equally impressive if largely illusion. The sight that drew most of the male citizens of Camlorn was the March of Beauty. A thousand comely young women, brightly dressed and provocatively dressed, danced their way down the long way wide main and street of the city. From the temple of Sethithi to the royal palace, the menfolk jostled one another and craned their necks, picking their favorites. It was no secret that they were all prostitutes. And after the march and the flower festival that evening, they would be available for more intimate business. Gina attracted much of the attention with her tall, curvaceous figure, barely covered by strips of silk, and her curls of flax and hair speckled, specked with flower petals. In her late twenties, she wasn't the youngest of the prostitutes, but she was certainly one of the most desirable. It was clear by her demeanor that she was used to the lascivious glances, though she was far from jaded at the sight of the city in splendor. Compared to the squalid quarter of Daggerfall where she had made her home, Camlorn at the height of celebration seemed so unreal. And yet what was even stranger was how, at the same time, familiar it all looked, though she had never been there before. The king's daughter, Lady Gyla, rode out of the palace gates and immediately cursed her misfortune. She had completely forgotten about the March of Beauty. 
The streets were snarled at a standstill. It would take hours to wait for the march to pass, and she had promised her old nurse, Romke, a visit in her house south of the city. Julia thought for a moment, picturing in her mind the arrangement of streets in the city, and devised a shortcut to avoid the main street and the march. For a few minutes, she felt very clever as she wound her way through tight, curving side streets. But presently, she came upon temporary structures, tents, and theaters set up for the celebration and had to improvise a new path. In no time at all, she was lost in the city where she had lived all but five years of her life. Peering down an alley, she saw the main avenue crowded with the March of Beauty. Hoping that it was the tail end and desirous not to be lost again, Lady Julia guided her horse toward the festival. She did not see the snake charmer at the mouth of the alley, and when his pet hissed and spread its hood, her charge reared up in fear. The women in the parade gasped and surged back at the sight, but Lady Julia quickly calmed her stallion down. She looked abashed at the spectacle she had caused. My apologies, ladies, she said with a mock military salute. It's all right, madam, said a blonde in silk. We'll be out of your way in a moment. Julia stared as the march passed her. Looking at that whore had been looking like looking in a mirror. The same age and height and hair and eyes and figure, almost exactly. The woman looked back at her and it seemed as if she was thinking the same thing. And so Gina was. The old witches, who sometimes came in to Daggerfall, had sometimes spoke of doppelgangers, spirits, that assumed the guise of their victims and portended certain death. Yet the experience had not frightened her. It seemed only one more strangely familiar aspect of the alien city. Before the march had danced its way into the palace gates, she had all but forgotten the encounter. The prostitutes crushed into the courtyard as the king himself came to the balcony to greet them. At his side was his chief bodyguard, a battle mage by the look of him. As for the king himself, he was a handsome man of middle age, rather unremarkable, but Gina was awed at the sight of him. A dream, perhaps. Yes, that was it. She could see him as she had dreamt of him, high above her as he was now, bending now to kiss her. Not a one of lust as she had experienced before, but one of small fondness, a dutiful kiss. Dear ladies, you filled the streets of the great capital of Camlorn with your beauty, cried the king, forcing a silence on the giggling, murmuring assembly. He smiled proudly. His eyes met Gina's and he stopped, shaken. For an eternity, they stayed locked together before his highness recovered and continued his speech. Afterward, while the women were all en route back to their tents to change into their costumes for the evening, one of the older prostitutes approached Gina. Did you see how the king looked at you? If you're smart, you'll be the new royal mistress before this celebration ends. I've seen looks of hunger before, and that wasn't one of them, laughed Gina. I'd wager he thought I was someone else, like that lady who tried to run us over with her horse. She's probably his kin and he thought she had dressed up like a courtesan and joined the March of Beauty. Can you imagine the scandal? When they arrived at the tents, they were greeted by a stocky, well-dressed young man with a bald pate and a commanding presence of authority. He introduced himself as Lord Strail, ambassador to the Emperor himself and their chief patron. It was Strail who had hired them on the Emperor's behalf as a gift to the King and the Kingdom of Camlorn. The March of Beauty is but a precursor to the Flower Festival tonight, he said. Unlike the king, he did not have to yell to be heard. His voice was loud and precise in its natural modulations. I expect each of you to perform well and justify the significant expense I've suffered bringing you all the way up here. Now hurry, you must be dressed and in position on Cavalster Rock before the sun goes down. The ambassador needn't have worried. The women were all professionals, experts at getting dressed and undressed, with none of the time-consuming measures less promiscuous females required. His manservant, Norbooth, offered his assistance, but found he had little to do. Their costumes were simplicity itself, soft, narrow sheets with a hole for their heads. Not even a belt was required. 
so the gowns were open at the sides, exposing the frame of their skin. Don't get all turned on, y'all, now. So it was long before the sun had set that the prostitutes turned dancers were at Cavalsteer Rock. It was a great wide promontory facing the sea and for the occasion of the Festival of Flowers, a large circle of unlit torches and covered baskets had been arranged. As early as they were, a crowd of spectators had already arrived. The women gathered in the center of the circle and waited until it was time. Excuse me, buddy. We're reading here. This is probably too adult for you to hear, buddy. You're only two. It's a cat. Okay. Jonna watched the crowd as it grew. And she was not surprised when she saw the lady from the march approaching hand in hand with a very old, very short white-haired woman. The old woman was distracted, pointing out islands at the sea. The blonde lady seemed nervous, unsure of what to say. Gina was used to dealing with uneasy clients and spoke first. Good to see you again, madam. I am Gina of Daggerfall. I'm glad you bear me no ill will because of the whore. I mean, horse, the lady laughed, somewhat relieved. I am Lady Julia Ray's daughter of the king. I always thought that daughters of kings were called princess, smiled Gina. In Camlorn only when they are heirs to the throne. I have a younger brother from my father's new wife whom he favors. Julia replied. She felt her head swim. It was madness speaking to a common prostitute, talking of family politics so intimately. Relative to that subject, I must ask you something very peculiar. Have you ever heard of the Princess Talara? Gina thought a moment. The name sounds from somewhat familiar. Why would I have? I don't know. It was a name I just thought you might recognize, sighed Lady Julia. Have you been to Camlorn before? If I did, it was when I was very young, said Gina. And suddenly she felt it was her turn to be trusting. Something about the Lady Julia's friendly and forthcoming manner touched her. To be honest, I don't remember anything at all of my childhood before I was nine or ten. Perhaps I was here with my parents, whoever they were, when I was a little girl. I tell you, I think perhaps I was. I don't recall ever being here before, but everything I've seen, the city, you, the king himself, all seem like I've been here before long ago. Lady Julia gasped and took a step back. She gripped the old woman who had been looking out to sea and murmuring by the hand. The elderly creature looked to Julia, surprised, and then turned to Gina. Her ancient half-blind eyes sparkled with recognition, and she made a sound like a grunt of surprise. Gina also jumped. If the king had seemed something out of a half-forgotten dream, this woman was someone she knew. As clear and yet indistinct as a guardian spirit. I apologize, stammered Lady Julia. This is my childhood nursemaid, Ramke. It's her, the old woman cried, wild-eyed. She tried to run forward, arms outstretched, but Julia held her back. Gina felt strangely naked and pulled her robe against her body. No, you're wrong, Lady Julia whispered to Ramke, holding the old woman tightly. The Princess Talara is dead, you know that. I shouldn't have brought you here. I'll take you back home. She turned back to Gina, her eyes welling with tears. The entire royal family of Camlorn was assassinated over 20 years ago. My father was Duke of Oloin, the king's brother, and so he inherited the crown. I'm sorry if it bothered you. Good night. Gina gazed after Lady Julia and the old nurse as they disappeared into the crowd, but she had little time to consider all she had heard. The sun was setting, and it was time for the flower festival. Ten young men emerged from the darkness, wearing only loincloths and masks, and lit the torches. The moment the fire blazed, Gina and all the rest of the dancers rushed to the baskets, pulling out blossoms and vines by the handful. At first the woman danced with one another, sprinkling petals to the wind. The crowd then joined in as the music swelled. It was a mad, beautiful chaos. Gina leapt and swooned like a wild forest nymph. Then, without warning, she felt rough hands grip her from behind and push her. 
She was falling before she understood it. The moment the realization hit, she was closer to the bottom of the hundred foot tall cliff than she was the top. She flailed out her arms and grasped at the cliff wall. Her fingers raked against the stone and her flesh tore, but she found a grip and held it. For a moment she stayed there, breathing hard. Then she began to scream. The music and the festival were too loud up above. No one could hear her. She could scarcely hear herself. Below her, the surf crashed. Every bone in her body would snap if she fell. She closed her eyes and a vision came. A man was standing below her, a king of great wisdom, great compassion. Looking up, smiling. A little girl, golden-haired, mischievous. Her best friend and cousin clung to the rock beside her. The secret to falling is making your body go limp, and with luck you won't get hurt, the girl said. She remembered. She nodded, remembering who she was. Eight years of darkness lifted. She released her grip and let herself fall like a leaf into the water below. Damn, don't you wish we had chapter two? All right. Always like to wrap up the show with uh, a little bit of reading there. Appreciate everybody chilling as always. That was the O show. Uh, I think the analysis was right. Did perform a little bit better as far as viewers go. Jumping in the Skyrim category. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you're following. I always tweet out when I go live got hundreds of videos on YouTube for you to check out I uh, got a discord for you to hang out in I am quitting my job uh, to do OnlyFans you'll have to get the link to that during the next show See if there's anybody good can tune into here. Find some more Skyrim for you to enjoy. All right, got a raid set up for you. She's playing some Skyrim and she's playing an orc. What more could you ask for? Thanks for chilling. See y'all soon.